Welcome back in. If you're just joining us, we're here at St. Joseph's Candler talking wound care and hyperbarics. And now we're joined by Dr. Young. Gonna check in with him and see a little bit more about what they do here. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. So thanks for taking a break with us. Literally just a quick one here, but <laughs> we wanna talk a little bit about what it is that you do here and what types of patients that you're seeing. Well, at the wound care clinic here in Moss Creek, um, uh, patients come in with low extremity. I treat particularly low extremity wounds, so anything below the knee. So we have wounds predominantly from diabetics, but we also have people with circulation issues and so forth, or even some with trauma. Um, but either way, it's just a wound that's open, and what we try to do is try to get it healed as quickly as possible before, or if it's infected, clear that up, and if anything, try to preserve as much as possible. So a, a variety of folks that you're seeing, of course, depending on scale, I'm sure there are different treatment plans. Let's talk a little bit about some of those treatment options that you're able to provide. Well, one thing for sure when we, in regards to wound care, the misconception is that you know you can just basically put a band-aid on or whatever it is and it'll just eventually heal. And that's not the case because each patient body uh, wound itself is very particular, it's very special, and it takes a little bit of time for us to get used to and get to be familiar with that wound. And uh, we, so we cater a uh, treatment plan that, that will actually optimize its wound healing. So some might be just a diabetic, some might be uh, poor circulation, infection, what what may be, um, it might be even just this, uh, this, this pressure or mechanical pressure, but either way, it takes a little time for us to cater our plants. So there's not any particular one, one way of treating it. Yeah, well, which is why we need the experts, right? Because everybody's <laughs> unique and every situation, of course, is very individualized. So you're able to tailor that treatment plan to the individual case. Let's talk a little bit for our viewers who are watching. I'd love to just share, you know, what are some of the most common questions that you get when people come in, maybe misconceptions? Well, I mean, there's a couple things. I mean, there's, there, what, this clinic is not just wound healing, but we also do hyperbarics. So one of the big misconceptions with hyperbarics is, hey, is this something I can pop a person in here, get them oxygen and they'll heal? And no, it's not really quite, it's not like a toaster or anything like that. <laughs> There's a little more science to it. Um, the, the wounds that we you know we, we typically see come in, um, and mostly it's diabetics and pay, people come in and they, because they're diabetic and they have some predisposition, their predisposition um, they don't perceive it correctly. So they'll think it's really not that bad. And so I get some patients who come in and say, geez, it, shouldn't, it should take, it should be easy to heal. It shouldn't mm -hmm. take that long to heal. And they're quite, they're quite surprised to see how long it takes to heal. And sometimes they'll be quite surprised when they find out it gets infected or it gets worse. So, you know, thankfully we're here to prevent that from getting from happening. Yeah, it can be quite complex. And to your point, sometimes the healing process, you know, really does take some time and needs the advisor of an expert to make sure that we're doing the right processes. Let's talk, we got about a minute and a half about some of the outcomes that you've been able to see here. I know in, in your work, probably some of the most rewarding part is when, when things go well and things heal and you're able to see a successful outcome. Highlight a few for us. Well, a couple things too. When we have patients who come in here, usually at the end of the rope. I mean, they're really frustrated from not healing mm -hmm. and then they're emotionally and psychologically beat down. And when we actually get them to heal, we control the environment, swelling, all these different things. When we optimize the environment for them to heal, and when you do heal, it's they're quite, they're quite, they're really happy. I mean, they're, I mean, they're, they're more than, they're more than grateful. Um, the fact that one, we got them to heal. Two, we actually preserve any limb loss because unfortunately that does happen. And you know, and with this getting them to heal quicker, we prevent that from happening. So. Absolutely. Well, anytime you can, you know, get a patient outcome like that or a positive success story after a long journey, I know that's got to be rewarding for them and for you as well. Yes. Thanks for taking a minute with us. After the break, we're actually going to go back into the hyperbarics uh, chamber area, get to show off that machine a little bit. But thanks so much for oh, your time. Thank you. And thank you for yours. We'll be back right after this.